everybody, and welcome to Ozarks Live on a beautiful day. Look who's sitting next to me. I'm Tom Turton. I'm she he looks oh, wait, completely different, no, right? <laughs> Just kidding. Beth Finello, <laughs> meteorologist Beth Finello. How are you, girl? I'm good. good. And full disclosure, as everybody knows, it's hot today. It's, it's hot? humid. My hair just like was not cooperating. I was like, you Your know hair what? It looks fine. Oh, thank you. I'm just gonna put hairspray in it. I'm gonna like take the frizz and just like put it down a little bit. Looks great. And that's it. We're done. That's what it. This is what it did. Well, you know <laughs> it's warm if I'm sleeveless because like I yes. do sleeveless sometimes, but it's very rare. Yeah. Because I just am cold all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you saw me. I had my rain jacket on earlier. You did. Yeah. Buttoned and everything in the building. Um, so it's not unusual for me to wear something with sleeves but mm -hmm. it's super unusual for me to wear sleeveless so it's yeah so that's how warm it is today it's just like you go outside and you're like wow it's muggy is it see i haven't Air been out since wear. i came in yeah. so okay yep all right just i'll take it when you leave work uh you are a meteorologist so yeah. what, what's gonna what's <laughs> gonna happen with the forecast do i need the 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 raincoat outside of the like this afternoon in the building oh you might i might maybe okay yeah there's a chance for a couple of showers the rest of the afternoon what about the weekend Saturday looks drier than originally forecasted yesterday, Good. but I would still say have your umbrella handy Saturday okay. and maybe Sunday. But the beginning of next week, we finally get some sunshine and some drier conditions. Isn't she handy to have around? <laughs> I mean, not only is she lovely and super fun, but she's just darn handy oh, to have around. Thanks. I love that. I try. I love that. I think in my next life, I might be a meteorologist. I love weather. It's, it's so fun. interesting. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Except for the sleepless nights in the weather lab, oh, which yeah. um, you have Are frequent several of those mm -hmm. in the last few weeks, but I think that's lessened a bit, thank goodness. So. Yeah, it's only a very short time yeah. during the seasons. Yeah, but it's a... If we get a big blizzard, then yeah, okay, maybe we'd have more sleepless yeah. nights. Yeah. But we didn't have that this winter. You guys do a great job in yeah, there, though. I will you. say that. Okay. It is Wednesday. It is. You know what that means. Tom's not here. He's out and about somewhere. He's not. He is out <laughs> on the weather tour, speaking of weather, and I think I know where Tom is today. One of my very favorite places. I know that background. I just know it. I recognize the pool, Tom. It's looking very familiar. Yes, it is. As a matter of fact, you were talking about, you know, how it's hot and muggy. Let me tell you, it is hotter and muggier when you're standing in front of a pool like this and you can't take advantage of it. I have to stand here. I'm in this sport coat. I wish I had a sleeveless sport coat. But anyway, this is in back of me because we are at Millwood Golf and Racquet Club. And this is this is the pool that they have here that's enjoyed by lots of people. It can be enjoyed by you, and we're going to tell you how you can do that in a little bit. Anyway, you know, thanks to House Key Flat Fee Realty, we're here today with the weather tour. You can come out and see us. Jamie's going to be here later. We'll be here till about 6.30. Now, you can come by. You can sign up for our viewers club. Be a member of our viewers club. Also, you can sign up to win an F5 storm shelter. We're gonna be drawing on that on July 3rd. Tonight, however, when you put your name in the box, we're going to be drawing something from Millwood and that is a round of golf for four. You can bring three of your friends, a foursome right here at Millwood. So come on by. As I said, we'll be here till about 6.30. That's when that drawing is going to happen. So just come on by Millwood and come back in just a little bit because we're gonna be talking with Dan Schumacher about all that Millwood Golf and Racquet Club has to offer. Back to you guys. All right, Tom, good stuff. Take wow. his advice. Head I out there. I want to go to the pool. It's we absolutely We should do a show gorgeous. from the pool. Oh, I don't know why we couldn't. <laughs> Let's get so Dan fun. and Tom on the phone. I would absolutely mm. love that. Yeah. All right. We have got quite the show for you all today right here in the studio. We have an amazing music group coming up for you. Prince Ivan will be gracing our stage later today. Yep. Plus, we have Ellen, how do you pronounce that? Dowdy. Ellen Dowdy. Ellen Dowdy yeah. here from Rescue One. There's That's a dog. That's right. She's got a beautiful dog with her. But before okay. we get to all of it, we're going to show you what is on our radar. Okay, imagine years of work culminating in a tremendous party complete with a beautifully decorated cake to celebrate your big achievement. I love parties. I know, I do too. Yes. Graduation, wedding, whatever. But when the knife slices into the sweet work of art, something goes crunch. Oh no. Okay, kind of funny story. That's exactly what happened to a family in Texas. Nellie and Marcy Flores ordered a graduation cake from Walmart. Okay, but when they went to pick up the cake, they were told their order had been lost. I'm so sorry. The good news is the manager stepped in to let them have one of the ready-made cakes that was on display. <laughs> Disaster averted. But when time rolled around for the party and they cut into the cake, they learned 
It was frosting covered <laughs> polystyrene. I guess like a styrofoam sort of deal. <laughs> Not even good with a scoop of ice cream on top. Doggone uh. it. Walmart did try to make good with a $60 gift certificate and a voucher for a free cake. Oh my, I guess the best news of all is the original cake will still be good well into the future. Oh my God. Whoops. The only thing I can think of honestly is if that happened to my family and my dad would have probably laughed so hard he would have started crying. Oh yeah. Just because that would have just been so funny. It's one of those things where it is so funny that you just think, you know, like, it's- Oh, it, I should have checked. <laughs> well, my graduation party, I'm sure there was a cake I don't really remember, but I would have remembered that cake. I will yeah. say that much. Yeah. That's funny. Speaking of dads. Okay. Uh, uh, Father's Day is only 11 days away, mm -hmm. which is so scary because I have to get a gift. Get on it. Uh, so as a public service, we have a few gift suggestions that, that will steer you toward what dad really wants. Okay, ready? Yeah. For the dad who wants to make a statement at the pool. Oh, God. Uh, that looks like your dad? Nope. No. <laughs> Nothing says a champion swimmer as much as the merman tail. Oh, my. It not only makes him the speediest swimmer in the pool, but also prevents him from running around the pool area which we all know is forbidden. So <laughs> let's, uh, yeah, I'm not getting my dad that. Next, uh, your dad will never again be that one miserable guy losing his suitcase at the airport if you gift him with this your ugly mug luggage. I love that. Uh, just make sure he's not on the no fly list uh, as he might be easy to spot. Here's another idea. Although flowers are lovely, dads tend to like a little more practical gift. So you can now combine floral with function by getting him this lovely bouquet of beef jerky complete with a vase. Oh. He will remember you every time he munches that beefy arrangement of goodness. Finally, for that man about town, about, I'm sorry, what is that? The Finally? man about town? Oh, I see. Who really does not want to go through all the trouble. A garment, shirt, <laughs> make an occasion, any occasion setting special, the tuxedo onesie. It's a onesie, a uh, tux onesie. You don't have to get a separate set of pants. You don't have to get a shirt. It's all in one. Wow. And it's probably I really comfortable. I love it. Wow. What oh, that's hysterical. Okay, so from formal dinner party to the martini Pajamas, and beef jerky. Yeah. Oh Everything. my gosh, that is great All stuff. of those gifts are perfect for dad. Happy okay. Father's Day. So <laughs> nobody needs neckties, nobody needs socks. He's no. got all that stuff. All that. Uh, but no matter how much he wants to embarrass you, he's still going to embarrass you. Would your dad wear the onesie? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. He would wear it to come visit me. How about the suitcase? Me. Oh yeah, my dad is a frequent flyer. He flies about five or six times a year, at least three to come here. Yeah. or see me wherever he I am He was here not point. long ago. Right, he'll yeah. be back in July too. I love that. So he would use that for sure. He's oh got all God. kinds of stuff on his suitcase because his suitcase is like blue or black or something, just like every other Everybody else human is. that flies. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's only so many people who would have it in them to pull a suitcase like that out of the airport. I'm laughing about the onesie, by the way, because I'm regretting that I don't have the photo of the man on the streets of Chicago wearing the onesie. Oh. It was not the tuxedo onesie. It was not that fancy. But I was on the bus <laughs> going to the National Restaurant Show, and here comes a guy, full on onesie, walking right down I the have middle a, of the street. Uh, yeah. a Minions onesie. Do you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. More for Halloween, I was a Minion. Okay, yeah. that's a little different than a dude in the middle of the work day wearing a onesie down the streets of Chicago, so. but hey, all you know, right. to yeah. each his own. I guess. All right, so speaking of travel, I am all about it. Have you right. heard of something called volunteerism? No, but I'm interested. Okay, this is really cool. More and more people are looking not only to get away, but to also make a difference in the world. And one particular cruise line has caught on in a big way. Genting Cruise Lines out of Hong Kong is celebrating its 25th year in business by launching its first regional cruise volunteerism campaign. This is in Asia through its okay. dream cruise line, okay? okay? There are actually several itineraries that let you volunteer your time in things like environmental conservation, cultural preservation, supporting local schools, orphanages, senior homes, handicap centers, and even poverty relief. These people are actually this. painting. Yes. I think this is great. An article in Singapore newspaper, New Straight Times, tells of a retired couple, a couple on their honeymoon, and a family, all looking forward to spending time together, but also doing something for the greater good. That's really nice. So volunteerism, yeah. you know? You take the cruise, you have a blast on the cruise, and you do all those fun cruise things, but at the same time, when you hop off, you get to go spend part of your day doing some good for someone else, which I think is a great idea. I wanna do that. 
I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to look more into it. That sounds so fun. I was on the website earlier. I'll yeah. send you a link. Thank you. Yeah, it would really be fun. <laughs> All right. Coming up, buckle up, okay, because Prince Ivan is just about to take the stage right over there. So don't go away. Ozarks Live is just getting started. Come on in, guys.